Hi everybody. So we're here today to start our discussion with being more environmentally conscious with what we do in our art rooms, what we do with our supplies, what we do with our cleanup. I don't know what to call the videos yet at the time of filming, but hopefully by the time you all see this on YouTube, I have a title because I have no idea. Anyway, in part one, we're going to talk about wiping tools. I don't know what else to call them, wiping tools. So yes, in my art room, I have paper towels right there. I also have down there, you can see that box right there. That's a box of baby wipes. I do have them and I do use them, but not as, as, as much as you would think. That particular roll of paper towels has been there for three months. It'll probably take me another like two months to use it up, if not longer. Um, I don't use that many paper towels. What do I use? I use rags. So we use rags a lot in our house, upstairs and down, for cleaning and all sorts of things. I'm a big advocate of using um, wash kitchen washcloths and tea towels and um, old towels. And this is a piece of my husband, one of my husband's old T-shirts uh, for general cleaning rags. That, of course, was a no-brainer when it came to setting up my art space, even in the old house. I've been using these for years. So I use rags for paint wipe up, for wiping my brushes off on, for cleaning off my art palettes, which is gonna be in a different video. We'll talk about art palettes. Um, and uh, I've been doing it for years. So what I do is I have a whole bunch of clean rags. This is, well, this is one that's in use, but clean rags here on my Ikea cart. So these are all clean rags. These on the bottom are clean, um, those are the super absorbent chamois. So if I'm doing something super, super messy and drippy, um, especially if it's on the easel, I can actually lay those out on the floor. It'll catch most of the drips and it's super absorbent. Um, plus I have a one of those clear acrylic chair things over the, over the wood floor under the easel to protect the floor. So anyway, but yeah, anyway. Um, so I have all my rags here different sizes. Some of them are baby washcloths from the dollar store. Some are pieces of old kitchen towel or old bathroom towel or like I said my husband's old t-shirts. They make great wipe off rags. The little small baby washcloths and the t-shirts are great at smudging, smud, smudging, smudging charcoal and pencil graphite and um, pushing paint around. When they get dirty I put them here, this is my lawn, upstairs laundry basket. When it's half full to completely full, I take them downstairs and wash them, easy peasy. So most of your kitchen uh, and household appliances um, have some sort of washing routine you should do with them to keep them in good working order. Your washing machine is no different. They have it for dishwashers and also for um, garbage disposals. Usually it's a powder, sometimes a liquid, you put down the device and then run it. Um, with your washing machine, I think you're intended to run it empty, um, although it ha on, depending on the product, sometimes they'll say to put some r old rags or something in there. I put my painting rags in there. Um, the soap is super strong soap, meant to clean out and disinfect your washing machine. It does a great job cleaning the towels. So I put the towels in, I put the dish, the, sorry, the washing machine cleaner soap in. It's a special kind of soap. You can get it anywhere, your grocery store, Target, Walmart, every place has it. Looking for Look for washing machine cleaner soap. Um, Tide has a really great one. That's usually the one I make, I use. And I run one load with the rags in it and the soap. Then I will leave the lid down and I'll run a second run with the rags in and water, no soap. Then I'll take everything out and put it in the dryer. Easy peasy. Fold it and put it up here. And then I'm good to go. And I use a lot less paper, a lot less baby wipes, a lot less paper towels. It saves the environment. I like the idea of using cloth and using something reusable rather than something you just throw away and fill up the garbage can. So see if you can incorporate some of that into your art space and your creative space into your routine and let me know what you think. I'm not perfect, I'm no expert by any stretch of the imagination, but this is what I do and it works for me. Let me know in the comments below what you do with regards to um, rags and or paper towels, baby wipes and cleaning up. 
Um, and um, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube and over in my Facebook groups, you can go to my link tree link in the description below. When you click on it or put it in, uh, copy and paste it into you, your URL window, you'll get a list of all the different places I am on the internet. Places you can follow me on social media like Instagram and Twitter, my Amazon store, my Etsy shop, my tip jar, my Patreon, all that stuff. So take a look, check it out, like, share, and subscribe. Click that little bell, uh, bell icon if you want notifications for the next video. And don't forget to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.